In the previous video, I have discussed how to implement plant leaf disease prediction project using a CNN. In this video, I will discuss how to deploy that particular project using a Streamlit application. If you want to create a Streamlit application, first we need to create one folder called as Streamlit app or you can give any name uh, according to your wish on your local machine. In this case, I have given a name called as Streamlit app over here. Within this particular Streamlit app, we need to create a few of the files over here. The first file should be test image. This particular test image will contain the images which you want to test on this particular application. You need to create a file called as main underscore app dot py. And then we need to download the model what you have created in the previous uh, case uh, from your Google Drive. And then you need to save it into this particular folder here. The name of that particular model is plant underscore disease underscore model dot h5. This is the model what we have created earlier. So that I have to store within this particular Streamlit app here. And then uh, we need to create this particular requirements.txt. I will discuss how to create the content of this particular requirement.txt at the later stage. What should be the content of this particular main underscore app.py is? First, we need to import few of the libraries here like NumPy, Streamlit, CV2, Keras as well as uh, TensorFlow. And then we need to load the model, whatever we have saved into our model folder. So load underscore, whatever the model name we have saved here. In this case, uh, plant underscore disease underscore model dot h5. We need to open that particular h5 model. And then we need to load it into something called as model uh, variable here. Uh, with the help of this particular model, we can predict the label for the new image at the later stage. So the class label, we need to assign any one of these particular class label, tomato, bacterial spot, potato early blight or corn common rust over here. Now for this particular streamlit application, we need to give some heading here. So that's the reason I have used st.title because streamlit is imported as st. So st.title is plant leaf disease detection, st.markdown. Uh, the meaning of this one is I have given some subheading like upload an image of the Im uh, plant leaf. So that is a subheading. And then uh, we need to upload an image. For uploading an image, we need to use something called as file underscore uploader. You can give some message to the user like uh, choose an image. So what kind of image you are going to choose, whether it is a JPG or PNG or whatever it may be. So that we need to select here. After that, uh, we need to upload that particular image with the help of uh, submit button. So st dot button, uh, we can give any mes a message over here again. I have given a message like a predict uh, this is here. So whenever I click this particular thing, uh, it will go uh, that particular image will be uh, submitted over here. So the uh, written handler for this particular button is what submit. So once you click it, that is if submit, what should happen? If submit, we will check whether that particular uh, image is loaded or not. If it is not loaded, it will generate an error or you can say that it will go to the else part. If image is loaded, first we will convert that particular image into bytes and then uh, we will convert that particular bytes into something called as uh, uh, array over here. That is with the help of op uh, CV2, that is nothing but open CV over here. With the help of these two statements, we will display that particular image to the user. And then uh, if required, we will resize that particular thing. Actually, it is not required. But if you give any image, we need to resize that particular image into this particular size that is 256 by 256 over here. And then that image that is uh, open CV underscore image, whatever we have here, we need to reshape it into 1, my, 1 256 by 256 by 3 over here. It's a four dimension uh, case in this particular case. And then uh, we need to predict the label for this particular image. Once you predict the label or you can say that the uh, result over here, this Y predict will contain the three probabilities. We need to select the maximum probability among those particular uh, three things. And then we need to assign the class label that will be assigned to this particular results here. Now result will contain either this one or this one or this one based on the probability. Now it will contain two parts here. Tomato minus bacterial spot, potato minus early blight, corn minus common rust over here. So what we do here is we will divide at this particular place that is minus. 
this will be the name of the leaf and this will be the uh, you can say that a disease here so that will display something like this one this is result dot split minus zeroth one zeroth one is nothing but the name of that particular leaf this is so and so leaf with first one that is nothing but the disease name so that will be displayed over here now once you create this particular app the next step is to uh, create one file called as requirements.txt for that reason uh, what we need to do over here is uh, first we need to click over here and then we need to select this particular path where we have saved our uh, what you can say that uh, streamlit app and then we need to open the anaconda prompt and then we need to use cd command and then go, we need to go to that particular path here now you can see here we are present in this particular path previously we were present in this particular users path now we are present in this particular uh, the project path over here now here we need to run some uh, commands over here the first command we need to run is uh, pip space install dot pip requs uh, if it is already installed in your machine it is not required but if it is not installed you need to install this particular pip requs over here so once it is installed you need to run a command called as pip requs so that you can generate the requirements file over here so once you generate this particular requirements uh, file it looks uh, something like this in this case we need something called as keras numpy streamlit opencv as well as tensorflow over here now we need to install the contents of this particular requirements.txt so for that reason i need to run this particular command that is pip install minus r requirements.txt over here so once i run this particular command it will install all those particular requirements from that requirements.txt once everything is installed we need to run the final command called as streamlit run main underscore app dot py this is the application what we have created now we need to run this particular application here so once you run this particular application the application will run in your browser on a port number called as 8501 and the output will look something like this this is the heading what we have given or the title and this is the markdown content over here and this is the place where we have uh, we can upload our uh, image and then this is the predict button that is nothing but a submit button over here now click on this particular browse file and then you need to select one of this particular image from this particular test image here after that we need to click on this particular uh, predicted disease it will display that particular image as well as it will display that particular uh, the leaf name as well as the actual disease over here the same thing can be done with another image and it will look the output will look something like this here so this is how actually we can implement the plant leaf uh, disease prediction system with the help of uh, CNN here. I hope the concept is uh, clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.